Hello, hello. Hello, this is Red One. We've yet again something fantastic here, which I call it the Body Creator. It's um, an automatic um, model creator for the Idempia project. Now, um, most of you who are familiar with development uh, since Compiere and Idempia, and now in Idempia, every time you want to create a new model, you have to create this associate window with tabs and this menu, and you have to create the seven compulsory uh, columns, and then you have to synchronize with the database, and then you um, have to define every element for every column, and that really takes up a lot of time. So within 48 hours, yeah, this is something what you call passion. Right here in Tenhua, uh, North Vietnam, where I'm staying with my son, with uh, Hep Le Kiu in his hometown. Um, I have coded this, and this, I only thought about this about two mornings ago, and here you are. I've just uploaded, and you can go to my SourceForge link at uh, Raid1 Files Module Creator. Uh, there's a README file with step by step instructions what you're supposed to do. First, you take the uh, plugin. Uh, it can be any timestamp because I constantly update uh, changes or mistakes or bug fixes. And it has the two pack already embedded in it, so you need not download this. This is just for you to look at your data, my, my design of the uh, changes in my metadata if you just want to look at the changes uh, without implementing the plugin. But if you take this plugin, and install it into your OSGI console or through the Felix uh, console manager, um, it will automatically um, expand or packen this uh, model creator. And then when you log in at system admin, let me do that. Super user system leading caps. When you were to log in, you will find that the new menu is created. Here is the new menu. Please ignore this, this is why I was trying out something just now, but you should just see these um, three items, the new menu, new window, and model designer. And, yep, call this up. Uh, this is still a work in progress, uh, it's not released yet, but you can call up the new window, and this is really fantastic by itself. Basically, all you have to do is just to put in a new name of anything that you want. So let's say you want to create a window of prospects. Uh, all right, window prospect. Just key in the name and save it. That's it. You don't have to do the seven columns synchronization and attaching it to the menu. So the next step is go to the menu window. Actually, it's step five. I'll correct that. So go to the menu window under the system admin you will find the new window created. Here you are. Okay. And you can go to the window attachment. This is all automatically done. Window tab. Go to the tab. Let me see if this is the instruction here. Yes, go to the menu window at the bottom three. Click on true to the window tab and click on the table link. So here's the table link and it's prefixed with MY prospect. So let's go to the database. You should find, let's refresh here are the M's and when you refresh it, yeah, here's your MY prospects and you can see that it's a fully functioning database sync with the minimal um, uh, stuff that you need, right? And now we want to build in more columns. So all you have to do, as is stated here, go to the column tab and create new columns. Just fill in the column name. Simple as that. Right? First, call up the table of column and define your new column. Just fill in the name. Let's say a prospect. Yeah, what do you prospect? Okay, I need the um, reference of the prospects, and you just click on it. You will automatically pull out from the system element. You don't have to do that, and automatically declare your reference and length. 
Yeah, so if you accept it, just synchronize. There you are. It's done. So we go to the database. Of course, it's there. Yep, reference there. But the magic is that if you were to come to back to the window tab, go to under this tab, just um, call out the tab editor. Here you are, the reference is there. And you can drag them around, for example. Um, hmm. Let me do something. Yep. And you could. Uh, let, let me put in more columns. All right. You can now put in more columns. Go back to the table column. Let's say you want to add in a new column. You want to say, um, you want to put in the date. Appointment. Yeah. Now, if that does not exist, you'll create for you and it will default to a string 22. But you want it to be a date, so you put a date time. All right. Let's say you have a date time. Um, you just synchronize it automatically, save it for you. Okay. And uh, let's put in uh, uh, more fields, high and low. High. Let's have it capitalized. High. Yeah, just a separate. And two nice. Low. You see, um, it, it basically, this is the fastest CRP designer in the world, and you you need not um, worry about framework, about the design, about the interface, and and many goodies here. Um, they are all there, and and you will have a ready print format actually. So let us go back. Let's create one more thing that is a numerical. Let's say um, a price list. Because price list is a field that already existed. Uh, it's automatically set to this reference type. And so you save it again. OK. Let's have just a quantity style. Just put in here. Let's call it occurrences. Ba -ba. This is a new field, so you default to a string, but you want it to be a number, so mm, or maybe a oh, number. Okay, the number you don't need it to be big. Let's put it and synchronize. Yep, here we are. So go back to your tab editor. Now you see how many steps we have saved here. We um, need not um, uh, pull in uh, all these fields um, through the uh, field creation. Previously, you you would need to uh, uh, do this, create fields. You don't have to do that. And under table and column, you have to define the system element. You don't have to do that. Uh, and you you have to also manage the creation of the menu, okay? And you don't have to do that. So you just go straight and define your model while it's fresh in your mind. And um, okay, so let's get back to the table editor. You could just let me put things. Let's go here. Okay. Right. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can start that later. And um, so you you have that there, and save it. And now <clears throat> let's go into your client admin. In this case, a little sample garden wall. Go in, and begin to key in data. You notice, really. Really, this is um, right here. It is done this way. You, of course, you could then go back and redefine it, uh, change it to um, whatever. Just put ABC. Mm, this should not be here. Well, this is a small snack, and try and figure out how to clear that later. 
higher you say uh, this is a string so you can say um, higher lower and um, you can put like say 12 put the date any date and um, ta -da. so save it and you can put in new data uh, let me just put in uh, another one so it's then of course you could now just print it out yeah. okay so this automatically on the fly you can have the wizard you can export it to XML to PDF HTML so this will be fantastic it will take some time for the first time caching but let's go to the database and um, refresh it you see all the new column systems if you were to peer into the database to see data is actually captured my Mac is a bit slow you need to donate money to me okay the Mac is slow I guess it's because the PDF generation is taking up a lot of resources at the background okay so we should have two records there There you are. So you can see that this is really the fastest ERP application in the world to create um, not just for ERP but to create any any model, any application because most applications are comprised of models of the menu or tables and um, what have you. So, so save your time from learning a new framework or design because it's all here and you can make use of many of the uh, from the ground up integration such as these and yes role SS and many other stuff well then have a good day and uh, thank you for watching and please download and try it and give me some feedback either email to me or put into the uh, Google forum or right here and have a nice day then. Bye-bye.